Hey guys, welcome back. Today, wow, this is a very cool, crazy custom. Um, this was lent in by my buddy Jason, and this is the last of the four knives that he's sent in so far. Uh, so I wanted to get this one out and done so I could ship them back to him. This is a prototype knife from Joshua Collins over at Collins Custom Knives. And I will put a link to his Instagram down in the description um, because I think it's at Collins Customs. I'll, I'll look it up and I'll make sure to put that in there because he's doing some fantastic stuff. Like this is kind of nothing compared to what is on his Instagram right now. Wow. I am thoroughly impressed. Um, and I got this. Jason sent me a picture of just a bunch of his knives and said, would you like to check any of these out? Um, and so I kind of circled a few. And this was the one that kind of drew me in. So as you all know, I do like bigger overbuilt knives. And this is bigger and overbuilt. It also is got a lot of mirror polish surfaces so I am going to apologize right now for the lighting because this one is going to play a lot some havoc with the lights okay so let's just dive right into it this is called well it doesn't have an official name but the unofficial name is the tux um, so it is five and a quarter inches closed this is where I almost need white gloves to do a video, which I think is kind of silly and I don't do the white glove thing. So you're just going to have to maybe put up with some shininess here. So you're eight and seven eighths inches overall. The blade is 3.62 with a 3.149 cutting edge because it's got that really nice big uh, finger choil. The blade thickness is 0.212 at its thickest, and then the grind kind of comes down. Overall thickness is 0.86. I'm sorry, 0.806. So it's bigger than three quarters of an inch is thick, minus the clip. Again, it's a big boy. Uh, and it weighs in at 9.5 ounces, which is actually rather light given the size. And it does run on bearings. Has a fantastic action. You can see the mirror polish on that blade looking up at the lights. I mean, just incredible. So let's zoom in and really kind of look at that blade grind. Is fantastic. It is black. And Ivory uh, G10, I think is what that is. I'm kind of looking here. Um, uh, micarta, sorry. It's black and Ivory Micarta. I was drawn a blank in that very good tuxedo look. A polished clip. And I'm not sure on the materials of the clip. I think it's just a steel, stainless steel. It is stainless steel liners. And it's got some etching on the inside, actually, that I didn't notice before. This is prototype number two, I think. Let me grab my light. Uh, JC prototype number two on the inside there, which is pretty cool. 18, uh, 2018 JC prototype number two. Now, one thing I really do like about this is the engine turning kind of, you know, polishing that they do on the edges there, which is also evident on the edge of the clip, all the way around the perimeters of the clip, and all the way around the liners, and across the top of the blade. To me, that's just a fantastic little detail. The rest of the blade is absolutely sterile other than some fingerprints and smudges because, well, it's almost impossible to keep this thing clean. Because I wiped it all down 
right before I started the video. Now this one, the lockup could be a little bit more solid, but again, it's a prototype. Lockup's not bad, but just wipe this one smudgy off because it's kind of bugging me there. But it could lock up a little bit tighter, but I think that's just because it's a prototype, you know, and this was in 2018. The stuff he's making now is fantastic. It fits. Now this is, this is not your everyday carry blade. Okay, guys, let's call it what it is. This is in that art knife almost type of, you know, it, this is a show knife. This is not something that you're going to carry around and beat up on a daily basis. I have no problem with that. I own a Phil Harvey Peacemaker. I, I know one guy who used to EDC his, my buddy Valentino. He used to EDC his in his bag. Okay, he's the only guy I know that actually carries his. So this does feel good in the hand. It is thick, but it fits really good in the hand and feels nice. And I have pocketed it, and it carries very well. Okay, the clip works fantastically, and it is, I'm not going to say it's a deep carry, but it carries in about that deep. I mean, it... It's a good carry. It is a little heavy in the pocket, and it does take up some pocket space, but it feels comfortable in the pocket. It really does, surprisingly, for its weight and its size. Speaking of size, let me just check my list here to see if I forgot any of the other notes that Jason sent. Uh, no, I think we got everything. So let's go size with the Sharpie. Again, it, it's, it's not small knife. We'll bring in the ZT0230, kind of work our way up in size. The Spider Codelica, because we always pull that guy out. You can see this is not a small knife. How about the uh, Holt Spectre? Now we're starting to get closer in overall length at least. Not quite there, but closer. Um, Hellraiser. The length, just about there, but overall size, still dwarfed. And the closest thing we're going to have here today is the 523. A little longer, very similar thickness and overall size, but, you know, not quite the Collins Custom. I just, I absolutely love the shape. I love everything about it. This is just a very cool knife. So go check out Josh on his Instagram. The link will be in the description below because he's got some really, really cool uh, Damascus stuff on there right now. Um, yeah, he's he's doing some great stuff. And this is all hand done one by one with no CNC, no nothing. So we're talking true hand built custom. And the prices he had on the website on some of these full dress ones, or on his uh, Instagram, sorry, was very reasonable. So on the one that I did see, I was really kind of intrigued by that. Uh, so if you're looking for something custom, custom, check him out. It's uh, well worth a look-see. All right? Thanks, guys. I appreciate your time. Uh, be sure to tune in for the next video tomorrow morning. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.